I can't believe I got in this place. Hey everybody, it's Sleeve, and for this video, I am at the uh, going out of business sale for the Rite Aid of Haddon Township, New Jersey. Um, this is the first video in a series of videos of uh, Rite Aid liquidation sales. So far, I've filmed 10 Rite Aids. That's right, 10. And it's the first one that you're seeing right now. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how long we got. You see already there was a broken window, but they don't care to fix it because they'll be leaving. In fact, they're already closed by the time that uh, you see this video. You can see that this right aid was kept up to date. Not just the, uh, the gray paint and the new... Uh, blue and neon snot green uh, logo that all Rite Aids have by now, but also this has the Wellness by Rite Aid decor package, the last decor that Rite Aid did before shutting pretty much every one of them down, seems like. I mean, it seems like every new day, Chris Cronin's putting a video out or uh, um, a uh, post on Facebook to different retail pages uh, saying that Rite Aid's shutting more stores down. I uh, just recently put out a video uh, saying that Rite Aid is extending their bankruptcy. I'm beginning to wonder. I mean, this is the first of them we're seeing on my channel. But I again, as of today, um, this is actually I'm doing this in May. I'm recording the audio in May. There's 10 Rite Aids I've filmed. I didn't expect to film so many, and yet here we are. By the way, what is with magazines now? It used to be you had monthly magazines, now it's specials on Elvis, Jesus, and uh, uh, Martin Luther King, and World War II, and I mean, it's like the periodicals are no longer periodical. But that's where we're at, folks. And now this is the early phase of this particular store's liquidation, and yet you already see the shelves are getting sparser. But at least the uh, refrigerated and frozen section is uh, still working. No lie. I've been to two of the uh, liquidating Rite Aids where the freezer or the chiller or whatever is broken. They still have product in there, and... Uh, it's a mess. But again, if you're closing in a few weeks, a few days, whatever, whatever, <laughs> who cares? Just leave it be and then that's someone else's problem. And as for someone else, well, who's going to take these uh, closing locations? Are we going to see the Dollar Trinity? You know, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Or Family Dollar. I can't begin to tell you how many former Eckerd's, Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens I've been to or I've seen that are now one of those three stores. And I took a look at the cat food and whatnot. Uh, I sometimes find a good deal on cat food or uh, other stuff that for my uh, cat. Well, really, it's not my cat. It was my sister's, but she lives in Tennessee now, so I'm his caretaker. And he's getting up there in years. Uh, July, he's turning 16. But don't let that fool you. He still runs pretty quick. <laughs> Trust me, I used to chase after him after, if he uh, sees an open door and tries to run out in the backyard or somewhere and hide from me for a while. But then when he's getting ready to come back in, he's all, you know, Rubbing up against my leg and purring and like, oh, human, I'm so glad I, I found you. By the way, I just snagged some Fisherman's Friend on sale, of course. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 
I do try to find some cat stuff for him while I'm at these stores occasionally. And also for myself, the Fisherman's Friend is great. A lot of us uh, members of the church choir, we uh, find that that's the best cough drop. And if you're singing as much as we do, you do know what a good cough drop is and how necessary it is to keep the voice going. <laughs> And I think I went and got some hair gel, too. I honestly do not like hair gel. I prefer hairspray when it comes to styling my hair, but uh, it'll do it in a pinch. And, uh, yeah, I think I found my brand. Somewhere around here. Oh, yep. All right. Oh, not that shelf. Is oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> You'll find it there somewhere. But, uh, honestly, this is really uh, interesting that I don't see that many people in a Rite Aid at any given time. And now all of a sudden there's all these people. Uh, most times I'm in a Rite Aid, it's a rare occurrence to see uh, a whole lot of people. Usually it's a one or two, but uh, I guess uh, the lure of uh, discounts off of items that they would purchase anyway brings them in. That's the thing about a liquidation sale. Usually the lure of spending less and getting a little more is uh, enough of a powerful draw to bring people that may not normally go to your store. But, uh, all in all, I mean, I just feel bad for the folks who work here. Some people think that I get some kind of pleasure in finding, oh, I got another writing I get to go film. To be honest, and speak to those out there who believe that, it's not like that. I'm just trying to preserve these places for future generations, because... There's going to come a time when people are going to talk about Rite Aid the way um, the old folks talk about shopping at W.T. Grants or Woolco or any other store that is no longer with us. And I feel for these folks who are losing their jobs once the uh, store has uh, finished the liquidation sale. I hope they get better and more secure jobs with more secure companies. But that's enough for my rant, folks, and for our visit at the uh, Haddon Township Rite Aid. As always, like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, tell a friend, check out my merch, and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.